Welcome to Electron Line. Our next matrix operation is the multiplication, and that is a little bit more complicated than adding and subtracting matrices. There's some conditions that need to be met. We cannot just simply multiply any matrix, any two matrices together. Now, since we're starting with square matrices, we already know automatically that we can multiply those matrices because they automatically meet the conditions. But let's just take a look at it, see what the general conditions are. Let's say we have two matrices, matrix C and matrix D, that we're multiplying together. Matrix C has dimensions M by N, and matrix D has dimensions P by Q. What we want to make sure is, is before we can actually multiply two matrices together, the number of columns of the first matrix must equal the number of rows of the second matrix. These two numbers must be equal to each other, otherwise you cannot multiply the matrices. And the resulting matrix on the multiplication will have the dimensions of the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns of the second matrix. So that will be the size of the product matrix. Now since we're dealing with two square matrices, you can see, for example, matrix A and matrix B, that this has two rows and two columns, this has two rows and two columns. You can see that the number of columns of the first matrix equals the number of rows of the second matrix. They're the same, so we can check that off saying we can do the multiplication. Secondly, the size of the resulting matrix of the, of the product will simply be a two by two. It'll be equal to the number of rows of the first matrix times the number of columns of the second matrix. So that will be the size of the second matrix. Now, let's actually go ahead and do the procedure of how to do the multiplication because it's a little tricky and you'll have to see how that works. We're going to start out with a simple two by two matrix multiplication, A times B. So that results in a resulting matrix. And the element in the upper left corner, the resulting, let's call it the matrix C, that would be CII or C11, that would be the element over here, is found by multiplying each of the elements of the first row of the first matrix times each of the elements of the first column of the second matrix. In other words, we multiply the negative 2 times the 3 and the 4 times the 6. One way that I like to do this, I like to use two hands, I go from left to right on this row and from top to bottom of that column, so I multiply these two together and then these two together. So you just kind of go like this on each of the multiplication so we'll see how that works so the first element right here is simply negative 2 times 3 plus 4 times 6 so we move to the left on the first row and down on this on the first column so this would be negative 2 multiplied times 3 plus then we move to the right here 4 multiplied times 6 it looks like and should have left myself just a little bit more room so let's make this a little bit bigger like so all right, now to get the element up here in the resulting matrix, I'm going to multiply the first row here times the second column. Notice that the subscript here would be, this is the element of the first row in the second column. So here we have multiply the first row of the first matrix times the second column of the second matrix. So this becomes negative two times negative two plus four times five. So negative two times negative two plus four times five. Again, we move to the left on the first row and down on the second column. So negative two times negative two plus four times five. Now we move down to this element. So to find the, the number for this element, we, do, we take the second row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. So we multiply these elements times these elements. So seven times three plus negative one times six. So seven times 3 plus negative 1 times 6. And finally, to find this fourth element, we multiply the second row of the first matrix times the second column of the second matrix. So 7 times negative 2, negative 2 plus a negative 1 times 5. So this becomes 7 times negative 2 plus negative 1 times Five. So in each case, you go across on the first matrix and down on the second matrix. And depending upon which element, you do the row of the first matrix times the column of the second matrix. All right, now simplifying this, we get the following. So here we have negative 6 plus 24, that's a positive 18. Here we have a positive 4 and a positive 20, that gives us a positive 24. Here it's a 21 
minus 6, that would be a positive 15. And here it's a minus 14, minus 5, that together it's a minus 19. And there is the product of those two matrices. And that's how it's done.